Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about how to send the Firebase push notification using the HTTP V1 API. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here I'm going to send the notifications via Fast API Python. So here you can see send and uh, here you get the receive the notification. show hello this is a test notification this is a test notification hello right so change it anything else hello test and send it hello test this is a test notification right so this is how you can send the notifications via fast api python let's dive into the code level so this is my code here we go with this one just hide this so here we go with this one Let's go to the code. So here I have created the file that is push notifications.py and make sure you have to install the re desired packages. So here we go with our packages. So you have to install fast API, UVCon, request and Pydentic. Okay, make sure you have to install that one. After that, these are the necessity that we have to import. Okay, so we have to import the fast API base model for the Pydentic request, JSON, OS, Google Auth and auth transport okay so make sure you have to install all this then initialize the app with the fast api so here is the service account file and the project id that is very important how to get this service account file you have to go to your firebase console and go to your project settings you have to select your project go to your service accounts and here you have to generate a new file so in the bottom of it there is a option that generate new Okay, so if you go there, generate new private key, generate, and the JSON file will be downloaded. Okay, so make, and here you can see that it will download it and just make sure, copy this and paste into your project. Okay, and here the thing, here I have pasted that one. Okay, and make the file path over there. Okay, and this is your project ID. So the project ID would be go over this one. This is your project ID. Copy and paste it and add it over here. Now load the Firebase service account credentials like this. Okay. Then the function is get the SS token because for this we require the SS token or the bearer token. So we have to call this function. Okay. Now this is our class push notification payload base model. So we require title body and the token. So now we are going to make a post API, the send notification. So this is our function which requests the push notification payload, which requires title body and the token. Okay, so here we go with SS token. First, we get the SS token. Here we have to, uh, this is our FCM V1 API endpoint. Okay, now this is our payload. Create a message payload over here. So token, notification, body, and this is our image you can pass. And this is our web push FCM link to open when the notification is clicked. Okay, now this is our send the request to the FCM with the headers authorization bearer SS token you have to pass. Okay. After this request the post URL and URL you have to pass headers and the data. Okay. Then the message also you have to pass. Okay. Then return the status with the response status code and the response.json and you, this is our app to run. After doing this, go to the postman, make a request or send notification. Add the title, body, and the token as a JSON and try to send it. Okay, then it will give you the push notifications. The second, where I get the token, that is I have done via JavaScript. So I will show that code also, which is already I have shown in my previous videos also. So let me show you that code also. Okay, so here we go with this one. This is our index.html. Just I'm showing that one, the JavaScript part, the front end. Okay, so this is our, you, uh, you can see we have to import this URLs, right? And this is our Firebase configs. So you will get this configurations from the, go scroll down, cloud messaging, scroll down, not this one. This is our rapid key. Just use this one also, copy this rapid key and paste it over there. This is required for that one, rapid key. Okay, paste it. And now we have to go with the journal settings to get the details of the rest. Here we go with this one. Web push notification. You have to create the web app for that one. And this is our 
data just copy and paste it okay this is all about that one right the firebase config okay let me word wrap this and after this we have to scroll down so this is our app initializes the firebase and now we have to register the service worker with sw.js get token so here we get the current token and the token retrieve else there is a issue with the registration token and then we have to go with the request permissions for sending the notifications then here we go with this one granted notification permission denied and this one okay this we don't require so leave it and uh, that script and body and the html then we have a sw.js file so import the firebase script required for the firebase cloud messaging else add the event listener when there is a push then you have to show the body message and the image okay so this is how we can implement this in the front end javascript in the back end python fast api any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day